She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something bad to feature You'll find the beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her Welcome back to my channel guys. Today I have for you this Korean makeup transformation look. Ever since my trip to Korea last year, I was so inspired by the peachy tones. So today I wanted to recreate my best version of it and I actually love how it turned out. I don't know how I feel about my bangs just yet. I try to do a little something fun with it, but I'm in between it looking just grandma-like or Cute. If you guys missed my launch video, I'll link it below. So my palette came out in January and I have been obsessed with it. I've been using it every single day. I'm really excited to show you guys how I like to use this palette and I love how it turned out, especially for this look right here. Just a little background on this palette. It launched in January 12th. So it was only about a month old. It's still my little baby. I love the packaging. I think it's so, so cute. And in here we have six beautiful shades. We have two bronzers and two blushes and two highlighters. So these four colors right here, these are limited edition that I created. We have two highlighters. This is Whimsical and Golden Hour, which is what I use today. And as for the blushes, we have Apricot, which I'm wearing today, and also Wildflower. I love these shades. I think it looks so good across all different types of skin tones. Also, we have two bronzers in here. We have the Deep Bronzer and Sunset Bronzer, which are best sellers from Physicians Formula. We decided to throw it into this palette to really complete that full face look and I love it so much it has three different types of butter in it so when you open this up and you smell it oh my god the scent is like intoxicating it smells so so good it kind of has like a coconut and warm vanilla scent there's muru muru butter kupu asu butter and takuma butter and that's what's making the formula just so so smooth. Also something I'm really proud of is that this palette supports Best Friends Animal Society. They are a nonprofit organization that focuses on animal welfare. So they help rescue animals, rehome them, rehabilitate them. And I'm so glad that this palette can support their mission. So when you guys purchase this palette, you're also supporting Best Friends Animal Society. So definitely check it out if you guys are looking for a face palette. You can find it at Target, target.com, or you can find it at physiciansformula.com. And if you're in Canada, you can find it at Shoppers Drug Mart. And if you wanna see how I did this look then keep on watching okay we are up and personal I got my contacts on I haven't worn contacts since I was in high school a little uncomfortable I must say I'm gonna start with a primer this is physicians formula mineral primer I'm just gonna take a good amount I am a primer girl I love me some primer I naturally am very very greasy so I always need to wear primer underneath my makeup for foundation, we are using the new Physicians Formula Natural Defense Foundation. I have it in the shade Medium. It is sheer to medium coverage. And I feel like with the Korean makeup trend, it's not about having a cakey face or anything. It's more about glowy dewiness and you want your skin to look healthy and supple. And I'm also just using my fingers. I feel like using your fingers it's truly the best tool. The color of this foundation is also just slightly lighter than my skin tone, but I did that on purpose because when I was in Korea, I noticed a lot of the women actually wore a foundation shade a little lighter than their neck. I'm gonna take the Natural Defense Concealer in Medium. I actually think this one might be a little dork just because I went a little lighter with my foundation today. Yeah, this shade is probably a little dark, but we're gonna make it work. And we're gonna do a little bit on this side as well. Now that I have my skin on, I went ahead and just did this eyebrow. Naturally, you can see that my eyebrows just have a huge arch, and this is just the natural shape of it. So I was thinking, in order for me to achieve the straight brow look, I would pretty much just have to make my brow as thick as possible, um, or 
I would literally have to shave off my eyebrow and we're not doing that today. I could not find a brow pencil in the drugstore that matches the color that I'm going for. So I'm using this brow pencil that I actually got when I was in Korea. Basically what I'm doing here is just sort of fattening up the eyebrow so that it looks a little more like a straight brow than an arched brow, if that makes sense. So I'm filling in that empty space that was down here. Next, I'm taking this brow gel right here. This is the Physician's Formula Brow Shaping Gel. It has jojoba oil and I'm using the shade Soft Brown just to help hold it in place. And I also feel like it ties them all in together. It just helps the color blend a little nicer. And you probably noticed that red tint that's underneath my eyebrows. You guys already know that's because I had microblading done a couple years ago and now I'm left with a reddish tint under my eyebrows which can be very difficult to cover sometimes. So please bear with me with that. Now that the brows are on, it is time to move on to the eyes. So I'm using the Tropical Days palette and I'm gonna go ahead and take this shade right here. This shade is going to act as our base color. So I'm taking it all over my lid. Next up, I'm gonna take this beautiful brick color and then I'm just going to gently tap it into the outer corners of my eye. I wanna make it look as blended as possible. I'm just gonna go in with a little fluffy brush with no product on it. Just buff this baby out so it looks a little more blended. Next step, we're gonna take this shade right here. I'm just gonna run my finger through it and then I'm going to just lightly tap it into the front half portion of my eye. Now I'm gonna go into my palette. I'm going to take Whimsical, which is my highlighter, and I'm going to place it right here in my inner tear duct. And I love how that just brightens up my eyes and gives it that really doll-like effect. And then next up, I'm gonna go in with some liquid eyeliner. I wanna draw it slightly downwards to give my eyes that dolly, kind of puppy eyes look. So I'm going in with a brown liner. You can use black, but I feel like brown is just slightly softer. This is the Physician's Formula Organic Wear Precision Liquid Liner, and this is in the brown shade. And I really like this applicator because it's super, super thin. So if you're trying to do a soft little baby line, it's really easy for that. I want to achieve this really like puppy doll-like look. So I'm actually going to add a little bit of shadow right underneath here, like what you can see on this side and sort of just pull the direction of the eye downwards a little bit. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. I'm just going to place that in here just to give it a bit more of a shadow. Now that the eyes are done, we're moving on to my favorite part, which is my palette. Let's start with the bronzer. I'm just going to go in lightly. This palette is so, so pigmented and so buttery that a little goes a really long way. I'm going to lightly pop that into this area. And you can see I'm barely using any because I'm not going for a really strong contour or anything. It's really just to give the cheeks a little bit of definition and that that's all. And then whatever's left on the brush, I'm just gonna take it onto my nose. Again, not doing any strong contours or anything. And this is really just to give it a little color. It's not to really manipulate or change the shape of my nose because we embracing our natural beauty, okay? My blush, this beautiful baby right here. I'm going to place it just right here. I guess the goal here is we're trying to look like a doll, okay? We're trying to look really adorably cute. I'm also kind of placing it a little bit above my cheekbone. Just really trying to get that cute flush up here. And then whatever's left on the brush, I'm going to just gently sweep that on my nose just to give that pinky glow all across. I'm gonna go in with Golden Hour. And I did notice that in Korea, girls did not really wear like shimmery highlight. It's more of a dewiness that comes from within, whether that be their skincare or just setting spray. But I love this highlighter. And if I can get a little extra glow, that's what I'm going for. And I'm not going overboard or anything with this. I'm using a little bit because 
I don't want the highlighter to be the focus of the look. Kind of just dust the edges around the bottom of your cheek so you don't have any harsh lines. I actually haven't really figured out what I want to do with my lips yet. Let's start with a more orangey lip. So this is the Physician's Formula Rose Kiss All Day Velvet Lip Color. And the color I have is Hot Lips. I'm going to start with majority of the color in the center of my lips. And then taking my finger, I'm going to slowly just like pat that out. I think that's actually really cute. If ever you feel like the lips are just a little too red, you can actually go in with a little bit of concealer and then I'll go around the edges of my lips and I will smudge the concealer in and it helps soften the overall color on your lip. This gives it a nice kind of gradient effect as well. I'm just going to spritz a little bit of setting spray on my skin. This is just overall gonna give me more of that healthy, zooey look. This smells so good. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. I don't know if I've gone too far with the bangs or if this is working. So this is my completed look. I went and added a little bit of gloss in the center of my lips so that my lips don't look too dry. So that about wraps it up for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and that you'll try this look out. If you guys wanna check out my palette, I'll leave the information down below on where you can find it. Thank you guys so much for all your support. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.